In this interactive guide, you'll learn how to protect customers with baselines in Microsoft 365 Lighthouse. To complete this guide, follow the prompt. To get started, expand deployment. Next, select baselines. Lighthouse baselines provide a repeatable and scalable way for you to standardize and manage Microsoft 365 security settings across multiple customer tenants. Select the default baseline to view its deployment tasks. This baseline includes recommended security settings for identities, devices, and data. It has been added to the deployment plans for all tenants without a baseline. You can select a deployment task to view what settings it applies in a tenant, and it's... For example, this task deploys policy settings that help safeguard tenant data. Return to the Baselines page. Microsoft 365 Lighthouse empowers you to create your own baselines to deploy to customer tenants. Follow the prompts to create a custom baseline. Once you have created a new baseline, you can add as many deployment tasks as you want. One way to add tasks is to clone a task from an existing baseline. Follow the prompts to see how. Another way to add tasks is to extract configurations from a managed tenant. For example, you can integrate a compliance policy created for one tenant into your custom baseline for all tenants moving forward. In this example, we'll extract a custom iOS policy. Give this task a unique name. The custom iOS device policy is now included in the custom baseline. You can edit a task's settings and parameters as needed. Be sure to review each task and remove any tenant-specific setting values that shouldn't be applied to other managed tenants. Return to the Baselines page. Baselines can contain a mix of default and custom tasks. Follow the prompts to view a fully configured example. Notice that this baseline includes the custom iOS device policy task that was integrated into the custom baseline. Next, select Deployment Insights. Lighthouse provides insights on deployment progress across all tenants, users, and tasks. Select a tenant to get a detailed view of its deployment plan status. The Overview tab shows deployment progress at the task and user level. Next, scroll up and select Dismissed Tasks. The Dismissed Tasks tab provides details about tasks that have been dismissed from the deployment plan and allows you to reinstate tasks. The Excluded Users tab provides details about users who've been excluded from a deployment task. Select the task to see the names of each user who's been excluded. The Required Licenses tab provides details about deployment tasks where one or more users require additional licensing to complete the task. Next, return to the Tenants page. Once you've designed your baselines, you can assign them to one or more tenants. Once the baseline is assigned, Lighthouse queries the assigned tenant to detect and report its deployment status. Select the City Power and Light tenant. Next, select Deployment Plan. Each task in the deployment plan for this tenant includes one or more processes that need to be completed and the compliance and user statuses for each process.
Here, for instance, the first deployment task is already compliant. Select the underlying deployment process for the task to learn more about it. This process configures a device compliance policy for Windows 10 and later. Next, select User Progress. User Progress is determined by the status of the task's settings. This tab includes a list of specific users and their compliance statuses. Next, select Detection History. This tab displays information about each time Lighthouse scanned the tenant to detect its configuration in the previous 30 days. You can deploy the policy from here. Review the deployment configuration. Here, you can define groups to include or exclude if applying the policy to a subset of users or devices. Click Next. This page displays all existing configurations detected within the tenant that are associated with the task. This information can help you determine whether any existing policies may need to be tuned before moving forward. In this case, an existing policy within the tenant makes the task compliant. Review the detected configurations and click Next. Confirm and deploy the configuration. A new policy has been created and deployed to the tenant. Select Close to return to the deployment page. Next, select Deployment Progress by User. This tab provides the deployment status of each user for tasks that support user progress reporting. Select a user to see more details. Lighthouse detects the user's status for each user-targeted subtask. This interactive guide is now complete. Click the link to get started with Microsoft 365 Lighthouse today.